All right, real quick, continuing before we left off, the feast of the assumption is over. All right, gotta do the thing, please. Thank you. There have been some gradual changes in the environment surrounding me. Up until now, it was rare for a classmate to speak to me, but now they do, even upperclassmen. Woo! Yes! Before I had seemed unapproachable, but ever since I was given the honor of playing at the feast, I think the people around me are starting to accept me. Victory! And yet the biggest change, no, the thing that didn't change. What's the matter? You're just staring outside. Is someone there? She, Rika stands next to me as I stare outside, then squints and gazes at the lawn wet with rain. There's no one there. Maybe in your mind. Nah, it was raining this morning, so I was wondering if it was still raining. We're short on rain, we need some. Oh, she says, stretching out the word, then looks to the greenery and wet trees with a gentle expression. It wouldn't be strange if she had changed. I told Rika Hanabishi the day after the festival that Mayuri Kusaka and I had started a relationship. I just felt as though we should apologize, but even then, even when Mary and I did, she just smiled and nodded, nonchalantly saying that she understood. Then she herself suggested we keep the relationship hidden for a while. Maybe forever would be a good amount of time. She said that if people found out I started dating Mary without letting any significant amount of time pass between the announcement of my and Rika's relationship, that I would get a reputation. It's a very convincing argument. The rainy season should be starting soon. Yes. She is keeping the secret with us. It would have made sense if she were jealous or tried to mislead us. But she has done nothing of the sort, because she is your Amte partner, she is your friend. You should be worrying. I'm grateful that Rika is my Amte partner and my good friend. See? The next time we have a day off, it'll be already be the rainy season. It's too bad you won't be able to go on a date with Mayuri. Rika-san? Rika-san? Really? During the middle of class, woman? Hmm? Oh, it's fine. The only one spacing out to class was you, Suo-san. No one's gone to change clothes. Yeah, if you do go on a date, it's not like there are any shops or anything, and people at the academy would see you anyway. All you can do is go hiking. Good point. Because frank words made me blush, but thinking about spending time in nature Mary makes my heart leap. <laughs> You're so cute, so san So naive. Come on, quit joking. Rika laughs at me as I deny it. My cheeks flushed. Here's where you guys are. You'd make a change for the next class starts. Before I go code fire pro. Sorry, sorry, but you haven't changed either, Mayuri san. I was waiting in the changing room, but you guys didn't come, so I came to find you. What's going on? 
You're cheating on you, right? I pink, but Mayuri smiles wryly. All jokes aside, we gotta get going. We were talking about how it'd be nice to go on a hike as a date, although it is the rainy season. Hiking? Go on a hike? If you go on a day on campus, people will see you. But being locked up in the room all day wouldn't be much fun either. It was just an un unthinkingly offbeat joke, but Mary spreads her arms in the feet. I don't want to be an embarrassing couple. I'll be careful about that. But, well, walking the forest would be pretty nice. She rubs her chin, thinking on it seriously. Rika waves to us, then walks off, and as we watch her go, I'm also thinking about the two of us going off into the forest together. Huh, how about taking her to the field of wildflowers that Komikado mentioned before? Oh, excuse me, a field of wildflowers? Mary says that she picks up one of the cook cookies I brought her. So, yes, Komikado Senpai told me about it. Apparently, there's a beautiful field of wildflowers in the deep of the woods. As she eats my handmade cookie, she says she wants to see it. If Komikado Senpai says so, it must be true. I want to go. Right? So, how about our next day off? But, and I'm sorry to put a damper on things, but isn't it a little past the season for wildflowers? I mean, I don't know much about flowers, but I would imagine they bloom in April. My cheeks flush with embarrassment at not thinking of this most important fact. Oops. Oh well, it's the thought that counts, right? Right, you're right. It is past the season. So grab a book and have a picnic or something. Oh, but, but even if the flowers aren't in bloom, I still like to see the field. I think it's a great idea, the two of us spending time together in nature. I am filled with emotions at the fact that she seems so delighted by our date. Together with my Amte partner, with Mayuri. Mary puts her hand on mine. It's like a secret rendezvous. It's exciting. 
今はそうじゃないっていうの Hey, what about now? You're right, she says with a laugh. We're in the gazebo where we usually hold tea parties. Only right now it's just me and Mayuri. I used the morning to make some snacks, just to get a taste of how it would be. I apologize for being late, and Mayuri had smiled and said it was no problem. Thanks to your lateness, I was able to think up an interesting plan. A plan? It's a secret. I'll let you in on it soon enough. She smiles brightly like spring sunshine. My heart skips a beat. So, so, she's been holding on to it ever since that day, and now that I've taken it, I feel completely fulfilled. Like I've come to know one more thing about her. She comes seeking it from me as though to return the favor. That I am needed. That I am sought after gives me satisfaction. Before I know it, her fingers are entwined with mine as she squeezes my hand tightly, conveying her feeling for me. The scent coming from her neck is feminine. Then, Mary's words whispered like pillow talk. Yes, I promise. I answer, drunk on the joy of this moment together with her. Are the two of you going out, Kamikado comes and asks? She asks this nonchalantly, but to me it sounds like a death penalty. Time freezes and everyone looks at me and Mayuri. Who squealed? But we are being careful. They look at me and I'm appalled at my own stupidity. The Sasagi's and Yagaki. Everyone in class is looking on curiously. How has this come to be? I ask myself and recall the events of the tea party leading up to this. Yisuo! A rare sunny day during the rainy season. Rika is all smiles as she gets a feast ready for the first tea party we've been able to have in a while. Of course, the sweets and snacks other than the tea have been contributed by other classmates, such as Mayuri and me. The event has become all-you-can-eat cake, with the gazebo as the backdrop. Or here comes trouble. And this time, we even have some special guests. I'm delighted you invited me today. Hanabishi-kun's tea parties are famous. It's an honor to be invited. It's an honor to see silver and gold. We invite the two of them to thank them for all they've done for us. As her golden voice rings out, Rika takes the lead and declares that the tea party has begun. Are you eating, Suo-chan? Did I miss a line? 
I just want to make sure. All right. I also wanted to check the time real quick. This chiffon cake... Mmm... It's pretty good. That's the cake Rika-san made. She said it goes well with tea. The cake also has the aroma of tea, you know. No, I didn't. But then you were giving me the... She used tea leaves to give it flavor. If you eat it with that whipped cream over there, it's even tastier, isn't it? Ringo nods vigorously. Her childlike nodding puts me at ease. Stuffing her mouth with a plate full of cake, Ichigo says... It's so rare for the president and vice president of the council of Nicaea to come when invited. Really? I heard that if they appear at a particular gathering, it starts to seem like favoritism, so they don't do it much. That makes sense, I think. It's a popular person's problem. People at school have lots of get-togethers, but there's no way those two could go to all of them. I saw things like this at my old school. I've never really thought of it like that. As we speak, Yatsuhiro steals the Mont Blanc from my fork and puts into her mouth with a blank expression. Uh, that was hard to make, so there aren't that many. <laughs> it's a dog eat dog world. You are negligent, so it's your fault. You don't need to say cool things like that in an ordinary situation like this. She smiles, saying it is delicious, then gulps down some tea. She's as androgynous as ever. So, Yatsuhiro Senpai, is it true that you don't think like that? Hmm? Oh, think about get togethers. It's not that I intentionally don't show up at gatherings. Is that there aren't many gatherings I want to show up at. Ouch. That hurts the ego of some people. That's kind of pompous. She's got a point. Well, Neri probably thinks that way, but today is... She looks at me, Mary and Enrica, as she speaks. Since you did so much for the feast, I figured showing up was justified. Oi, Neri! Hey, Neri! This baked cheesecake is quite something! Really? 
Kamikaru had been talking to a classmate, flares over like a moth to the flame. Uh oh. Oh wow, it does look tasty! She takes a piece of the baked cheesecake and devours it in no time. Kamikaru is usually slow moving and easy going, so the speed in which she eats the cheesecake is surprising. I think we mentioned this before, but Neri's hobby is eating and walking at the same time. Especially snacks. Before we came to the academy, she often dragged me out with her. I was afraid to step on a scale. Oh boy. Oh, is that right? You should take everything you want to eat onto your plate right now. You wouldn't believe how much cake this one can put away. Ooh. I can't laugh at her cynical joke. It's okay, we can do it. That's because Komikao continues to eat, never breaking from her steady pace. Reminding me of a participant in an eating competition. The plates come silent for a moment. Mary stares a piece of cake of her cake with a fork and holds it out for each go. Eh, what's this? This is the best part, so I'm giving it to you. It's like she is stabbing the heart of the cake. <laughs> but it's a strawberry! My name is Strawberry! If I eat it, that would make me a cannibal! <laughs> she deflects inviting laughter from the class. Oh, Oh, she's doing her little stand-up routine. How wonderful. Exactly. I guess it's become a standard part of my act since it was such a big hit at the last tea party. <sighs> Ichigo blushes but plays off the compliment like it's no big deal. It seems she is happy to be praised by Yatsuhiro for different reasons. <sighs> but... Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Kumikawa says with a frown to Ichigo, who is bent over laughing. Everyone's laughing. Did you tell a joke? Uh, yes? Uh, oh no, I'm not mad. I just didn't get it. If you don't mind, could you explain the joke to me? Explaining the joke ruins it. Exactly. It goes beyond ruining it. It obliterates it. It's dead. Like my legs. Bright red, Ichigo explains the joke. Komikawa listens intently. Yugaki has appeared at the party when no one was looking and comes over to us looking unusually sympathetic. You came! And yes, I know. Hmm? Oh, the class president kept bugging me over and over to come. I figured that'd be more of a pain in the neck not to show up at this point. Good point. If you didn't show up, she'd probably come after you. 
だよな。Yeah, I know, right? We both laugh. Rika san is the class president after all. None of our other classmates could have brought Yagaki here. It was worth it. Since I got to see some interesting faces, I got to see the beautiful vice president's true colors. She smiles like a mean cat and lolls around as if checking her looks around as if checking surroundings. What's going on? Are you trying to be cute now? Huh? Huh? Look, she says, pointing to the whipped cream on Mayuri's cheek. She looks blank as I react automatically. Don't move. I'm about to incriminate myself. I say and wipe the cream on Mayuri's cheek with my finger, then eat it. Now for the rest. As she incriminates herself even more. I take out a handkerchief and wipe it clean, then. I know about Yagaki's legs, you know she'd make fun. Hmm? Miuri looks shocked, it makes sense. She didn't know she had something on her face. However. <laughs> how bold! Uh oh. Her playful words made me realize I have done something careless. You done goofed! It's over! She knows! Oh no, this isn't what it. I throw the fine excuse our Komi Kawas with a completely innocent face. I was expecting something funny. Are the two of you going out? And caught! She asked the dreaded question. And we died. I must have got carried away with the excitement since this is the first tea party we've had in a long time. I am immediately filled with regret at my thoughtlessness. Automatic action. Thoughtless automatic action, blah. I'm okay. How do I get out of this? You don't. Noodles are in the pot, Suo. The only reasons I can think of are unconvincing. You two look so good together at the feast. It wouldn't be strange at all if you were dating. So, the, the, that's not. Right? Don't you think so, Hanabishi-san? What do you think about me and Komikado? Don't we look good together as a couple? The air freezes. That Rika and I had announced our relationship at a previous tea party is a well-known fact. Um... This is getting interesting. I agree. I try to think of a way to throw the bewildered Rika a life belt. I look to Mayuri, but she just grimaces. I guess I could try changing the conversation to cake. Yes, I think they are a great match. And I had to keep checking my fan. The control expression changes to a smile blooming like a flower. So you know. Yes, indeed. Then following on from Komiko's adulation, 
でもお似合いなのは当然なんですだって周央さんとまゆりさんはお付き合いされているそうですから But of course they're a great match I mean they're going out <laughs> She says Everyone in our Armitage group goes rigid but Rika Then the hooting starts almost a cheer No one our age doesn't love a good love affair, and now it's out in the open. Could it be that she is mad after all? Rika is smiling slightly, and I try to guess her motive as I look into the eyes behind the glasses. She continues, I forgot to tell you, but. You see, me and Suosan were going out before, but she really wasn't my type, so I broke it off. And covered. Oh, is that so? Yes, Suosan's experience was hard, so I was very happy with her. Yeah, Susan got pretty depressed, so I was actually relieved when she started dating Mayuri-san. She continues. What? This isn't a love triangle? How boring! Ouch. Yatsuhiro acts as spokesperson for everyone. The drama doesn't get any bigger than it needs to, and our classmates offer Mayuri and I words of congratulation. Mayuri's sense expression relaxes into relief as she accepts their compliments. So, you moved on from Richan san? Really? You should have told us. Sorry, I thought I should wait a little before I started telling people. Well, that was wise. It doesn't look good if you get dumped and immediately go on the rebound. See, Erica gets it! She said the exact thing Rika was worried about. Rika says something to Komikado, then walks my way. I'm sorry, Suo-san. I thought it'd be too difficult to keep hiding it. She whispers. Ooh. You don't have to apologize. Your words have really helped me. Oof. I whisper back and Rika touches the rim of her glasses. Seriously, it's fine. I really think this is for the best. People have per picked up their ears. So she can't say it directly. Pricked up there. There we go. She murmurs, I really think it's great, Suosan and Mary san are dating. Rika san. Oof. <laughs> Don't make that face. I think it was really great that you and I dated, even though it was so short. It was just like the first time I put on glasses. Wait till contacts. 
What do you mean? I saw the world in a completely different way. Her cheery smile is so lovely I could almost drown in it. Give Mayuri-san that new world this time. She needs it for sure. Aww. She says as she looks toward Mayuri. Then she looks to me and says, You need it too, Suo-san. I am so glad that Rika Hanabishi is my Amte partner. Are you two going to keep whispering secrets all day? Oh, ah! It's Yagaki-san! You came! Oh, you didn't notice! More importantly... She indicates Kamikado with a glance. Uh oh. Shouldn't you put a stop to that? <laughs> oh no. She says in amazement, Kamikado having left the conversation is zeroing in on the cake. <laughs> Yagaki's expression becomes weary as she watches her energetic energetically gobbling the cake. <laughs> She's eating again. I think she's gotten worse over time. <laughs> Zura? <laughs> There's supposed to be enough for all you can eat, but I think it's all Komikado can eat. I guess it's better than having leftovers, says Mayuri, watching as the cake, but it seemed like too much at first, drastically decreases. <laughs> this takes me back how she used to make me do this with her. Tonight's going to be rough. Uh oh. You mean she'll get heartburn or something? Not quite. I like a normal person fatten up if I eat a lot. But Neri doesn't gain any weight no matter what she eats. Your eyes are uh <laughs> Oh, man. In fact, I'm convinced it all goes to her chest. That is indeed unforgivable. Right, Yatsuhiro grumbles? I wonder what Rika is thinking. Maybe she is spacing out letting her jealousy show. I hear her mutter something about Komikado being a monster. <laughs> a monster, huh? Speaking of monsters, I should probably bid farewell to Kasaka here. What? Yagaki-san? Are you changing schools? <laughs> Nope, the one who's disappearing is you. Mayuri is clearly confused. Yugaki takes a gulp of her Russian tea. Uh oh. I have a bad feeling. The, the Seven Mysteries of the Academy, the Goddess of Truth. Kosaka. <coughs> mm. I'm okay. <sighs> Mary smiles at Yagaki's words and says, Oh, that. I 
消えるうんぬんは確かに聞いたことはあるけれど聖母役をした後私はこうしてピンピンしてるじゃないか。I did hear some nonsense about the person who played the Virgin Mary disappearing, but here I am, alive and kicking. It seems the gossip the truth is a bunch of baloney and cheese. Hmm, I thought you had known since you've been hanging out with Shirahane. What would I know? Hmm? We heard about before from that ravenous vice president over there, the story of the gods of truth. Isn't just that the person who played the Virgin Mary is supposed to disappear, I ask, and I'm met with a surprise expression. Ooh, I have a real bad feeling. You are listening properly. In the legend of the gods of truth, the person who played the Virgin Mary doesn't disappear immediately. She disappears after the returning of the veil. Returning of the veil? Question marks circle around our heads at this new phase. Phrase. The author here joins the conversation saying it's understandable that they don't know. The returning of the veil isn't something with a special name like this or that festival or so and so organization. It occurs within the week of the feast, on a Monday during morning prayer. You wore a veil at the Feast of the Assumption, right? Oh, hi. Uh, yes. During morning prayer, Sister Basque will hand it to you. You take the veil to the altar and hand it to the nun. That's it. That's it. It's not strange that you didn't know about it. Everyone nods their understanding. However... Um, what about the disappearance? Well... Well... You can't figure it out from what Yatsuhiro Senpai has already told you? Kasaka and Shirahani thought the student who played the Virgin Mary would disappear after the feast. But actually, you disappear after you return the veil, so. That's why you said you should bid me farewell. I see. Oh, so we only have a little time left to talk like this. I'll miss you. The Sasaki's blabber away. Goddess of Truth? I feel a strange disgust at the use of the word truth for this mystery with its religious origins. I'm gonna split the episode here, guys. I hope you had fun, and I'll see you on the last one. See you then.